Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer is The Cosmic Man. It's a 1959 Allied Artists second feature uh, that played at a lot of uh, kitty matinees uh, to probably general consternation and uh, lots of audience hubbub. Here it is. When I was seven, I uh, had polio and I was in bed for a year. Uh, missed my multiplication table, so don't expect any correct change from me. So you'd think I would have been more sympathetic to little Scotty Morrow, the kid hero here, who has polio. But I wasn't. What was it, this cosmic phantom, this being, boneless, fleshless, almost invisible? This is a, a grade B level family movie reworking of The Day the Earth Stood Still, with our pal John Carradine skulking around again, sometimes in negative, as a clatuish space alien who poses as a human scientist and eventually makes the crippled kid walk complete with requisite Christ parable and anti-war message before sacrificing himself for us. Fortunately, not much happens in this picture, although the uh, round interstellar golf ball uh, that hovers in the air is kind of cool. We do get to see Bronson Canyon, as we see here, and Griffith Observatory, which is always nice for people who uh, like little scenic tours. There's our little crippled kid. See how unhappy he looks? Um, it's no fun being crippled, let me tell you. Anyway, uh, th this was directed by a former AD uh, named Herbert Green, uh, who keeps the traffic from slowing to a crawl, but uh, not really much else. And uh, throughout, Bruce Bennett plays a scientist who is constantly <laughs> blaming himself uh, for Hiroshima, which uh, gives you a little you know, social angle to it. I am here in the darkness. Your demands mean nothing to me.